Hi everyone, it's Shelby from A Little Literary Love. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna do another book haul. Who's ready? I sure am. I'm sure ready to hold up all of these heavy books. Yay. Anyway, so let's get into the video. If you can't tell, this is like the third or fourth video that I filmed today and I'm getting tired. So if I'm a little loopy, I'm sorry. I'm also getting a little hungry. So after I film this, I'm gonna eat. Um, but yeah, this is just primarily, this is like 99%. There's one book in this haul that is not historical romance. Otherwise, everything else is historical romance that I bought. But before, we get into this. I'm really hot, so my hair needs to go up because, yeah, I can't do this. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. So much better. It's really hot in my room where I'm filming. Um, because I live in an older house so there's not a whole lot of airflow. It's either like there will be like a pocket of like cold air and then a pocket of like warm air and it just doesn't really like flow throughout my house. And then I have like my ring light that's just like radiating heat. So I'm very hot. But yeah. Oh and then let me like scoot this back a little bit. I'm wearing my historical romance shirt from, oh my gosh, I, I will like insert their like Etsy shop or Instagram, um, Fugly something is the name. I'm like totally blanking on their name, but yeah, I got this shirt from them because it's super cute. They have a lot of cool stuff. I want to basically just like buy their whole inventory because their stuff is amazing. But I spent obviously all of my money on books and I have no more room for cool t-shirts like this. So maybe I should prioritize. I think I'm gonna try to make this like my last book haul until June-ish. Um, so I'm filming this nearish the end of April. I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to post this video yet. But yeah, my goal is to not buy like any books in May if I can. And then to maybe save up because then my birthday's in June. So maybe I can do like an extra special like book haul for myself in June and buy books then. But in able to do that, I need to save up some money first <laughs> and not buy a lot of books. But anyway, here we go. So I'm going to start off with the books that I only have like one book of that author in this haul at least. I have a lot of other books. So the first one is going to be The Prince of Broadway by Joanna Shoup. I have, I think most of the other books in this series, but I just didn't have this one. So that's why I bought this one. Then I have My Last Duchess by Eloisa James. Again, I have a ton of Eloisa James books, but I didn't have this particular book. Then we have The Air by Grace Burroughs. I bought this because Jen from The Book Refuge was talking about one of her videos. I don't remember. I like binge watch like all of her videos sometimes. Um, one of her videos, she recommended this, so I bought this. Then we have The Rakus by... Scarlett Peckham, I think. And I think Jen from the Book Refuge, and then I think also Jess from Peace Love Books was talking about this one and really liked this. Because instead of like the rake, like the guy being like all promiscuous, it's the girl that's like that, which I think is really cool. So bought that one. Then my only non-historical book is All Chained Up by Sophie Jordan. I Sophie Jordan does have a lot of historical romance books and I have a bunch of the other books in this series. I've already read this one because this is the first one in this series. I just didn't have a physical copy of it. And this is about um, this guy in prison and he meets the nurse at the prison. There's like a riot and he ends up like 
saving the nurse from all these like other like bad like criminals in the prison from like hurting her during this like riot and it's like their romance and it's really good but yeah so I wanted a physical copy of it then I have the bride bed by Linda Needham so you're gonna see a lot of these books that I've bought are because of Instagram because I saw people post um, there's a thing called Step Back Saturday on Instagram where people just post pictures of cool step backs. So a lot of these books are from that because I saw the step backs and I was like, I need that in my life. So this one is the back cover. And here it is. Like, look how gorgeous that is. It's so sexy. And he has like an armband. I, I, I just have to have it. Then we have Through a Dark Mist by Marsha Canham, I think. And I don't think anybody posted this for Step Back Saturday. They might have, but I bought this because somebody posted a step back of it. And it's like a cool, like almost full, like two page one with this like guy in the water and there's a cool sword. I was just like, yes, I need this in my life. And I think, This is supposed to be like a Robin Hood retelling. I think. I could be wrong. Or I think those are all of the ones that I just have one book. And I think the rest of them will get... I have at least two, if not more. There's some that I have like... I have a crap ton. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so I have a couple Mary Below books. I have... Slightly Dangerous, which I think is the only book in this like slightly whatever series of Mary Bullocks that I didn't have. And then I got A Summer to Remember. I don't remember why I wanted this one, but I did for some reason. So here it is. I'm pretty, I'm sure somebody had recommended this book and that's why I wanted it, but I don't remember why. Then I have a couple Joanna Lindsay. I have a rogue of my own. I don't. I don't think either of these have step backs. And then Beautiful Tempest by Joanna Lindsay, which this one has a cool cover. Um, so I may try to, if I can, try to find these with the step backs, because that's you gotta love a good step back. Um, but I didn't have these in my Joanna Lindsay collection. So I got those. And I got a couple of Courtney Milan books. So I have Unveiled and Unclaimed. I know this is in a series and there's another one. I don't know the order of these, which one comes from. I think this might be like the second or third one, but I couldn't get the third. The one that I'm missing was like unavailable on thrift books. And I wasn't able to see if my local bookstore had it because by the time I got to like that section I already had a ton of books and just needed to get out of there and stop buying books but anyway so I have these two and I've heard really good things about Courtney Milan so I'm really excited to read some of her books then I have a couple of Maya Rodeo books so I have Duchess by Design and then an heiress to remember I got these because one of these books is for a future book is a future book club pick for one of the book clubs that I participate in. I don't know. I think it might be the Rake Appreciation Society. And I don't remember which book it is, but one of them was on there. So, and then I have a couple of Teresa Med Medeiros books. So I have After Midnight. So this is the May pick for the Rake Appreciation Society book club. Um, and I already owned this. I might have already like hauled this in another video. I don't remember, but I got another copy because my copy did not have a step back and this one does have a step back. So, and then I got Breath of Magic by Teresa Mer Mer Medeiros. And it has this cool step back. So this looks like it could be, I'm not 100% sure if this is actually historical romance because I think it's paranormal, but that other one is like a supposedly like a historical paranormal romance. So I'm wondering if that's what this one is, but it's like, I don't know what they're doing. Like, 
I don't know if they're just floating or if they're flying, but I mean, then there's the broom on the cover. So I'm assuming witches are involved. And like, I love like the skyline. Oh, I just love this. I love it so much. And then I got some Maya Banks in this like, I don't know if this is all in one series or a couple series, but she has these like Highlander series books or something. I have a couple of them. So then I got the rest of them. So I have Seduction of a Highland Lass, which like that cover just so cool. Then In Bed with a Highlander. And then Never Love a Highlander. I also have a Jennifer McQuiston book, which I only have one of, which I think I like shoved in with some of my other books. But I have this one, which is What Happens in Scotland. And I think Jen from the Book Refuge was talking about this book, which is why I bought it. And it has that gorgeous step back. I don't know, when I look at this with like the checkerboard, it makes me think that she's like out having a picnic. Although I think this is like a Highland, obviously Scotland kind of romance, which they have those like checkerboard kind of prints. So that's probably what it is. But like I said, it just makes me think that she's just like laying out, like having a picnic with the castle in the background, just like living her best life. So. Okay, then we have some Lisa Claypus, which some of these don't have step backs, which make me really sad. So I'm going to try to find some with the step backs because honestly, Lisa Claypus's step backs are some of my favorites. Um, but we have Midnight Angel, which doesn't have a step back, which is sad. Somewhere I'll Find You, again, doesn't have a step back, which is really sad. Uh, worth Any Price. Stranger in My Arms is Prince of Dreams, which has this step back, which I saw one, I wanted this book. There's three reasons I wanted this book. So one, I saw somebody post this on Step Back Saturday. So I loved it. Two, I basically, I just want to own like all of Lisa Claypuss's books. And then three, I literally like just watched Jen's latest, um, weekly wrap up video and she read this book and had a like, I think she said it had like a groveling hero in it. And she said it was really good. And I, I wanted it. Also, I really like that there's the rainbow on the cover. I don't know if that has anything to do with this book. I don't know how the title fits into this book, but I like the, I like, I just love this cover. <laughs> I love the rainbow. It's really cool. So yeah. Okay, now we're moving on to people that I have like at least five books that I bought. So we're starting with Sarah McLean. I bought a bunch of her books. So I have Never Judge a Lady or Never Judge a Lady by her cover. And it has that step back, which I just really like this. It makes me I don't know what this one is about. I think, I know it's like this girl that doesn't want to do what society dictates women should be doing. Obviously why she's wearing pants on the cover, but just how she looks on the cover, it makes me, I kind of hope she's a pirate, like a woman pirate. Like that just sounds so cool, but I don't know. Then we have No Good Duke Goes Unpunished. Very green. We have a rogue by any other name. That step back. We have Daring and the Duke. Which I read the first book of the series and I need to continue reading it. That step back. Yeah, I read this one. I haven't read the second one. And then this is the third book in the series that I need to get on. One Good Earl Deserves a Lover that step back. We have the day of the Duchess with that step back. I like this. I like that step back. It's really good. And then a Scott in the dark with this one, which this one, if you can see, it's got like her, like, I don't know if she's like getting 
her portrait done. So this just like, I have no idea what this is about, but this just makes me think that like this guy is like an artist and he was like painting her picture, her portrait. And he was just like so amazed by her beauty that he just like had to have her. And so they just like, they're having their like little like tryst or tryst or however you say that word, you know, on the couch there because he just like couldn't stand it anymore. Does anybody else do that? Like if you see like step backs or like covers of books and just like make up a story about what the book is about like in your head. I do that all the time, especially with step backs because some of them have like ridiculous step backs or some of them we'll get to. I have a lot of Amanda Quick books in this haul and a lot of hers look like like a movie poster with it like a bunch of different scenes in it and I'm just like just like already like imagining like what the book is about but yeah anyway is that just me it might just be just be me but that's what I do and then we have a couple Lorraine Heaths that again just got mixed up in <laughs> other books so I have an affair with a notorious heiress of the Duke and the Lady in Red which has this stuff now we're moving on to Stephanie Lawrence. So I have an On a Wild Night, which this has a nice like blue shiny cover with that step back, which looks so cool with like the moon. I love it. Then we have Mastered by Love, which doesn't have a step back, but it has like this cool little bit on the back, which I kind of like. Then we have Devil's Bride, which has this on the back cover. We love a hero in a cape. Then we have a lady of his own, which doesn't have a step back, which again is very sad. The Edge of Desire, which has this step back. To Destruction this one which I think is really pretty I think her dress is just so pretty beyond seduction the step back we have the lady chosen and then we have a gentleman's honor which has that step back if you can see without my ring light then we have some Cat Martin books, which honestly, the only reason why I bought a bunch of hers is because she has like amazing step backs in her books. So I accidentally, I didn't, somehow I got a hardback cover or a hardback of Sweet Vengeance, which has this on the back cover, which I like, although it doesn't like, I don't know, for some reason I think that mirror just doesn't seem like it's in the right place or like the image of it doesn't seem right. I don't know, but I didn't mean to get a hardback. So then I got a paperback copy, which is the newest cover, which I don't like because then it doesn't have a step back. So I'm gonna keep searching and try to find like the old version with like this cover, but in paperback format that has like a back so then all of the rest of these basically got because I either saw it on step back Saturday or I went to my local bookstore that has like a bunch of used books and I was looking through her section like the Cat Martin section of it and looking at step backs and seeing books that had cool ones so I have the fire inside has that step back which there's like this other couple up here and then they're like I think that's like a chase maybe on like horseback and then like candle I don't know but I was like yes I need this in my life then we have Bold Angel, which has this shimmery, like, metallic -y cover. I love it when they have, like, a metallic -y color. Or the letters are, like, in metallics. Which is so cool. Which has this 
gorgeous step back. I love it. Then we have Innocence Undone, which has like the metallic on like the mask. Just this step back, which again, I love this so much. It's so gorgeous. We have Heartless. With this step back. And then we have Perfect Sin, which I need to take this sticker off if I can with this step back. Okay, then we're gonna go into the Amanda Quick books that I have. I bought a Amanda Quick like lot on eBay where I just got like a ton of her books. So I'm gonna start with the ones that either don't have step backs or I'm not 100% sure if all of these are historical romance. Some of them look like they're more like maybe romantic suspense or paranormal romance. But we have Burning Lamp, which this one does. So some of these, they do have technically a step back, but it's more just like an image with more like, just like blurbs on there. We have Late for the Wedding. Slightly Shady. Second Sight, which again, this just has more like a blur kind of step back. The Perfect Poison. Wait Until Midnight. I think this has, oh, it has like the author picture and blurb. The River Knows, which again, more just like a blurb. The Paid Companion. Blurb. We have The Affair, which doesn't have a step back. And then all the rest of these Amanda Quick books are historical moment romances and they all have step backs and they're amazing. I love all of them. So we have Seduction. This step back. Again, like I said, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, that guy looks like he could be, like, Zorro, and, like, what's going, like, all the flowers and her hair, it's just, it's like the whole book, just, like, here in the step back. I'm assuming, we'll see when I actually read it, I love this one. So we have Rendezvous, with this step back, like, half naked. And like this guy, like he just looks so like, like he almost makes me think he's like a mob boss, but in like Civil War times. We have Surrender. With this step back, which is cool with a fan. Oh God, I just love these so much. Ooh, this one's really good too, so Reckless which I'm pretty sure is a pirate romance or like some sort of like sea whatever romance because like the boat, I'm just like all for it. We have Dangerous, this step back. We have Ravished with this step back, which this might also, be, I'm suspicious this might also be a pirate romance just because there's like this like bunch of like treasure down here so like why would that be on there if it wasn't like a pirate romance that they were looking for treasure and I think this one might be a book club pick for one of the book clubs that I'm in I don't remember we have scandal oh yeah I love this one like I love like the blue and the green and I'm just like why there's like this like dragon here like what and it looks like there's like either I'm assuming that's a duel or these guys got in like a fight and there's like a knife there I don't know if you can see that I'm just like I need to know what's happening with desire with this step back, which this one I'm pretty sure I saw on Step Back Saturday. Which got me to realize that I needed Amanda Quick step backs in my life. 
Okay, then the last little bit that we're going to do is Elizabeth Hoyt. I got a bunch of her books, mostly because I wanted her step backs. So I got all the books in, I don't know what this series is. I think it was one of her first books that she did, the series. There's The Serpent Prince, which I don't really care for this cover, but I couldn't. I even went to my local bookstore and I couldn't find a different one of it. And The Raven Prince and then The Leopard Prince. And I'm not 100% sure which one, what the order is of this. But yeah, I got all of those. I might already have these. I can't really remember. But I have des To Desire a Devil, which has that step back. And To Beguile a Beast, which has that step back. Which these are in the Legend of the Four Soldiers series by her. The rest of these are um, her Maiden Lane series. And a lot of them I already had, but I didn't have like the step back. So like for instance, I got this one, Thief of Shadows in the Maiden Lane series. And I think I got this from Thrift Box, but this one didn't have the step back. And then I found this one with the step back at like my local bookstore. So I needed it because honestly, Elizabeth Hoyt, Maiden Lane series step backs are like some of the like best ever. So once I get through and like shelf these, I'm going to look at my Elizabeth Hoyt collection and find the ones that I'm missing that don't have step backs. And I'm going to try to get them because I need them. These are in the Maiden Lane series, which Crystal from Crystal Book is Crystal's Bookish Life and Jen from the Book Refuge both read all the books in this series and loved them. So I really want to read this series because they just like rave about them. I think Jen said because she finished it and she said that she didn't give anything in any of the book, any books in the series lower than like a four star rating. And this is like a huge series. I think there's like like 15 books or something in it. What, so that's pretty impressive. So again, some of these I already own, but I didn't have the step backs. So I needed them with the step backs. So I have Sweetest Scoundrel, which is this one, which all of them have like the two page step backs too, which is also why I think they're like amazing. Dearest Rogue. I can actually get it to step back. Have Duke of Desire. This pretty step back. Lord of Darkness. Ooh, Darling Beast, which is one of my favorite step backs. Like, look at that hunky man. Duke of Sin that step back and then the last book that I have in this haul I saved the best step back well one of the best step backs there are some that are like also pretty darn amazing but this one is just like top notch Elizabeth Hoyt Scandalous Desires are you ready for this are you ready for how amazing this is Look at that. Oh, with the bathtub. And like also if you can see he's got this like huge like ring. Oh my god. I just love this so much. Like I want to read this book just because of the step back. <laughs> I don't even know which one this is. This is book three in the series. So I have two books to read before this one. But I just love this so much. I saw this on Step Back Saturday and I'm like, I'm dying. I needed this so badly. I just need this in my life. I want to have this like, sometimes I wish I could take like pictures of like the Step Backs or just have this in like, like a print copy that I can just like hang on my wall, you know? I'm not sure my husband would appreciate that, but it's just, I could just like stare at that step back like all day. It's not weird. That's probably weird. But yeah, so 
there's my book haul. All the books that I got recently-ish. Ish. Um, but yeah, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of my pretty face and all of my videos. I hope you have a great day like I'm having with all these books, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.